money. The key to open the gateway of society. The ticket to board the train that is speedily approaching our future. A brilliant one. A brighter one. A better one. Or so we all seem to presume. It's something we've become so accustomed to, so dependent on in today's society, that we tend to overlook its importance and extremely essential economic existence in our rapidly growing, materialistically evolved society. So much so that we tend to confuse the words want and need, resulting in the ever popular question, where did all my money go? With our current economic crisis and the basic cost of living on the increase, it's safe to say that if we continue on our financial rampage and careless cash dispensing on frivolous and insignificant necessities, then we are swiftly heading towards an unnervingly financially oppressive future, both us and generations to come. So save. Okay, obviously. It's only fair to acknowledge the fact that the gov government isn't helping with our current economic situation. If anything, they're adding to our despair. This is evident with the substantial increase of university fees by approximately 100 to 200 percent and the fluctuating level of unemployment in the UK. Also, the dramatic increase of our retirement age, yet the greatly contrasting decrease of our pension. This is something that will not only affect our generation, but many generations to come. Young people, we are the next generation. So let's embrace, let's embrace, let's embrace delayed, delayed gratification. I therefore implore you to consider the issue of financial stability very seriously, as the AAA threat is a great reality check. So save, 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 because saving is succeeding.